Something better. I'm just keeping weight off of it so I don't re-injure it. <coughs> was that a victim of crime? Uh, that was entirely my fault. So uh, I, I victimized myself, which is interesting because um, in many cases, the state uh, actually tends uh, to prosecute people for harming themselves. And um, that's a very strange dichotomy. Um, I'm not going to get into that. So I just, <clears throat> for one, would like to point out the stark difference between this bill and the one that you're going to be considering next. Because I feel that this one represents government its proper role, which is to protect the rights of individuals. And the next one is exactly what's wrong with the country. People and government attempting to micromanage our lives instead of representing us. They keep talking about all of these laws, thousands and thousands. You're the legislature. Do you know all of those laws? I'm positive that you don't. I'm positive that I don't. The Wall Street Journal recently published an article called We're All Felons Now, in which they documented that the average American commits three felonies per day. You don't know the laws. You don't know which ones you're breaking. There are so many federal, state, county, local ordinances. Every regulatory agency ha now has uh, rules that have the force of law. And everything you do, you're, you're just regulated um, and, and <clears throat> it's, it's really amazing to, uh, to see what it's come to. On the, on the DWI, I did want to mention, um, there was a case right before I moved here from Arizona where a couple was having a cocktail party and they were having a disagreement between them and they didn't want to fight in front of their guests. So they went outside to argue and in, in Arizona it was 120 degrees so they sat in the car uh, to argue with the air conditioner on. And uh, the neighbors um, called the police because the music from the party was too loud. The police came. Uh, they were in their car, uh, only running it because the air conditioner was on, did not intend to leave their party. And yes, they were both arrested and charged with DWI. So um, some of those laws, um, again, while intending to protect us, things have just gotten really out of control. Um, there was some question as to what is and is not a victimless crime, and I think that's just kind of getting hung up on the title of the bill. If you dig down into it, and, and it's pretty straightforward and to the point, if the state can produce a victim, then there's a victim. If they can't, then there's not, and that's, that's really all there is to that. Um, I don't, I'm not the only one to point out that the only one testifying against this uh, are people who work for the state. And uh, I've had the opportunity to speak to officers in the field during arrests for victimless crimes. And we're pointing out that the person they were arresting hadn't harmed anyone or stolen anything or damaged any property. Um, the typical response is, well, I don't write the laws, I just enforce them. Or don't blame me, talk to the legislatures. It's their fault. Yet they're here day in and day out campaigning for the power to continue making these victimless arrests. The three branches of government were mentioned and how they represent the people. So that's the question. I think it's clear the way the people feel about this bill and the question is, is the legislature going to represent the people or is it going to represent the executive branch? Thank you. Any questions? Seeing none, thank you.